All right, now it's time for mission four, and I'd like to explain something a little bit. Um, in this, when upgrading your skills, um, it there's a one thing that I forgot to explain, but this can be seen very obviously when I've bought stuff earlier. But um, just in case if you guys never noticed, because there probably are some people who may not have noticed. But, um, when you buy an upgrade, the price for all the other upgrades goes up. In which, with the starting price of everything in this game, yeah, I'd understand why, but... At times, it, the prices get a little bit ridiculous for these things. For these upgrades. <laughs> but at least I've gotten the most expensive ones out of the way. But, um... Anyways, if you actually take off an upgrade, then not only do you get more Proud Souls back, but the price is reduced for everything else. But um, I want to keep Drive anyways, because that's a pretty fun move to use. And I do want to get Overdrive, people. It is a fun thing to do. Oh, and I hate doing back to forward on the control stick with... yeah. <sighs> and also I have enemy step, which allows me to jump on enemies' heads. I thought that was a natural ability in Devil May Cry 3, but I guess you just have to purchase it now. Anyways, let's just get back to mission 4. So anyways, now that we got the Anima Mercury, now we can do something a little bit interesting with it. And yes, I'm back to regular Virgil. And I love regular Virgil. He looks awesome. Oh, I just wanted to... Oh, I really just want to destroy these things right here. Oh, come on. I can do it. Why is it lock... Oh. Oh my god, is it really what I think it is? Alright, well then, let's turn it on. And, watch what happens. And you hit it, it moves. This thing can damage enemies, and it breaks certain objects. And it, well, I mean, it, I mean, it breaks a lot of different kinds of objects, including, including objects such as, uh, the pots that I destroyed, like anything that can contain red orbs, is something you can destroy. So, enemies and all that. But, if I hit it with my summoned swords, it starts spinning faster and faster. Anyways, it's at its maximum spin. So when it's at its max, I hit it, and it goes its farthest distance. Hit it once, and it will go a little bit farther than before. Hit it twice, and it will go a little bit farther, and then, as demonstrated here, do that, then it just goes flying. It's absolutely fun to do. But let's just move on. Because now we're gonna show how it works in combat! Hooray! Anyways, one is right here. So I will turn this on. Lock onto it. And then do that. And then I want to hit it some more. Anyway, standing still actually increases your concentration by a lot. And this pretty much just destroys enemies. Die, everything! Die! Oh, what? You little piece of shit! Ouch. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. It's my combos. Eat my charged up kicks. You don't normally want to charge up the kicks unless you know you can. With smarter enemies, they'll more likely dodge out of the way. And sometimes with bosses, it's best not to try and charge that move up. But yeah, you just saw this thing like destroy a bunch of enemies. 
It's a lot of fun to use. The Anima Mercury is in harmony with the blue coffin. The coffin must be summoning a gyro blade. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to break open that coffin yet, for one particular reason. Mainly because it contains something in it that we can't use just yet. Not until the next mission, anyways. Oh, come on! Get up there! There you go, Virgil. Because you can still keep getting the secret orbs that are up here. And I like doing that. I'm just gonna keep doing my method of just... Destroy everything! Just destroy all! Maybe the summon sword might not be a bad idea to destroying all these, but it doesn't look as cool now, does it? It's just, oh yay, swords are just flying out of my body, hitting everything. But I don't want to activate that uh, that um, gyro blade just yet. That's it. However, there is that gyro blade I want to get to. However, I can't really get to it. So what do I do? Well, earlier on in the mission, you might have saw it, something. Um, hold on. First, I just want to break these because there's still even more orbs even afterwards that I'd like to get. So there might be some orbs I'm just gonna repeatedly go after and all that. May get a little boring, but eh. At least I get it for the orbs. Anyways, here are some more gyro blades here. And you may think, oh, I can't move these out of, out of these places, right? Well, you're wrong, you little idiots. Even though, well. I'm pretty sure none of you out there are really, like, idiots at all. I'm pretty sure that all of you are fairly smart it's in your own regards. But still, everyone's an idiot in their own ways. Some some people might be stupid at, um, I don't know, playing video games. Others might be stupid at, um, playing sports. Um, some people may be stupid at, um, doing math. Some people might not be good at reading. You get the gist. All intelligent and idiots are welcome. But now that we've broken that up, we now have three gyro blades that are at our disposal. But as you saw there, there are enemies, so... Let's kill them! Wait, why am I not running? There we go. Anyways, um, the whole thing with the concentration, um, meter is that when it is at the state where you see it that it's purple, like how it is now, it doesn't exactly have to be max in order to be able to still execute that one move that I showed you earlier, or to be able to have that, that after image thingy go on. All you really need is just enough in order for to in order for Virgil to be glowing purple. But still, let's just keep it on. It is very useful to make these things go um, spin it at their max, because then that way um, they go a lot farther, and you don't have to just repeatedly keep hitting them over and over and over again, because that gets boring, people. All right. We don't have, uh, it doesn't, uh, like, okay, so you basically can place them in any spot you want. It doesn't really matter um, that one is in a certain spot and the other isn't. All you really need to know is that placing it in one, in that, just place them in a certain, in that, I can't word myself correctly today. Ah! Grammar is scum. All your base are belong to us, people! All your base are belong to Virgil! Or else he will tear you to shreds. I just want to make it spin a little bit. Like that. But, the thing is, is that in order to get through here, we need to have all four gyro blades in each of these. In which there is a fourth gyro blade in this room. You saw that gated area earlier? Well, we can't access that, but instead, 
we have to access it from a different angle. You see, it's right over here. Hold on, let me just turn the camera. Right there, there it is. However, since there's a gate here, we can't really get inside, can we? Yeah. We need to break something. I'll break all of them! I'll break them all! <laughs> I love being evil. Sometimes it's good to be bad. But on a serious note, people, don't be evil. It's actually bad to be evil. Eat the combos. What the hell? What the hell was that? I have no idea what just happened there. Also, by the way, the if, the more con I've noticed that the more concentration you have, the better your judgment cut will be. So it'll have like a bigger range and um and will also be more powerful. But anyways, there are fireballs. Yoshi like fireballs, you know. Okay, I'll stop with the memes. Your memes end here. Anyways, you just want to charge this thing up to break through all the fireballs. And then you just want to destroy that thing, and then boom, you can move on. Now, normally there'd be a secret mission here, but it's a secret mission that only Nero can easily do. Because it involves him using his buster. And since, uh, well, not his buster, but, you know, his devil bringer, aka something that we'll get to when we play as him. But you know what? I think I will play as um, Dante and Nero. It could be fun. Prepare for enemies. Oh, see? Yep, the judgment cut. Anyways, I could use the, um, that, um, gyro blade, but instead I think I'd rather keep, get my style up because, you know, Style is very important in this game, because the more style you have, the more orbs you can get from enemies. When you kill them, at least. Which makes it all the more useful to just kill everything. Really, using the gyro blades does not get your style up at all. Smokin', and then there's smoking Sick, and then there's smoking Sick style. So, smoking is S, smoking sick is double S, and then smoking sick style is triple S. And triple S is always the maximum. But really, remember, your style can never ever go down. Um, uh, well, you're, um, in this game, your style can never actually go down when you're, um, doing, um, I'm trying to think here, but, um, what am I trying to think of here? I am confuzzled beyond belief. I'll just keep using this combo here. It's always useful. I can't even see myself. Why am I not switching weapons? What the hell? What's going on? Oh my god. Why was that I've never had happen to me before. I guess this move is just too much for the game. Wait a minute, hold. I can't switch weapons. I can't switch weapons. I'm pressing the buttons to switch the weapons, but I can't. What? Oh. 
Oh, I was pressing the wrong ones. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> what is wrong with me today? I mean, I have my coffee here, but... <laughs> what is wrong with me today? <laughs> First, I think I can't switch my weapons. Then the camera goes all berserk on me. Now what? Am I all of a sudden gonna die in this episode? Please tell me I'm not. Actually, no, no, I'll just keep it. Go, Yamato! Alright. Spin me, you spin me right around, baby, right around, baby, baby, right around. I don't know the lyrics very well. Alright, now let's place the last one in and prepare for, um... I'm sorry about the lag that is going to happen in a moment. When we get to the boss that comes up. I am truly sorry, and why are you not moving? Jesus Christ! Get out of my way! Move, bitch! Get out my way! Get out my way, bitch! Get out my way! Now that all four of them are in there... Thing goes down. Barrier's broken. Now let's get this. Are you ready for this? Oh, a bunch of sexy ladies! But we must fight them because they're evil demons in disguise. Oh my god, the frames are going down. Oh, Jesus Christ. Cut him up. And yeah, I've, usually with this boss, I have like sometimes the hardest time. Because, well, well, at least when I play as other characters. But with Virgil, he's just OP as balls. I'm not sure if balls can be OP. And there we go. He's dead. When playing as a Nero, he actually does die, but... As some of you may know, you actually refight all the bosses as Dante when, when you go through his missions. And with Virgil, it's no different. You still refight the bosses. However, instead of Dagon, I think that guy's name was, you get Bale. I know that the second one's name is Bale. However, Echidna, which is another boss that will be coming up um, in, in the next couple of missions... will still be alive and holy crap holy jesus man if i gotten more or if i found more orbs in this mission <laughs> i'd be in the money anyways i will see you guys in mission five